Be blessed by the divine. How do we overcome low energy through various yoga and living lifestyle methods? Dear friends, we are governed by five things. Our energy levels are therefore governed by how we enjoy these five things in moderation and in discipline. Food, work, use of thought force, rest and sex. Let's look at each of this. Food. We inherited our stomach system from the monkeys. What do monkeys eat? That's right. Monkeys are fruitarians. They eat fruits, they eat nuts. So what should we eat? We should eat fruits and nuts predominantly. We don't do that. We end up eating everything that is available on the streets. And that is a fundamental root cause of why our energy drains in our body. We are not meant to eat non-vegetarian. We are not even meant to eat processed food. We are meant to eat whole food, plant-based diet. And that's really what sattvic food is all about. That's really what is yogic food is all about. I would like you to visit nutritionscience.in. Our team on food and diet and naturopathic living and food and diet and, and, and lifestyle is headed by our Dr. Achutan Ishwar. And I participate in that website and many of us work along together as a team to maintain that website. And there is a free 21 day a dietary challenge system that is available on email. You can sign up for it in nutritionscience.in. I will provide the link for the description in the, in the description of the video below. So you can click, feel free to click that, visit that website and sign up for this 21 day course. And there is a full fledged online course that is going to come up. You feel free to sign up and then participate in that as well. <clears throat> so food we have covered. The second is work. What kind of work is suitable for us? Look, there is vitamin D available from the sunlight and there is vitamin B12 available from the mud. So therefore, the answer is there for you. The most ideal work for a human being is to be a farmer. Farming is what we are meant to do. We are meant to expose ourselves in the sun. We are meant to work with the mud. Of course, that's not feasible today for most of us living in the cities. And therefore, try and take work that engages your body, your limbs and your, your entire body. You need to be able to use them, not just with your fingers on the computers uh, or on your mobile phone, but just use the entire limbs. In the um, event that you are not able to engage in some useful protective work using all parts of the body, then you must exercise regularly. And that is why these physical yoga form was systematized and given to us by our Guru, Sri Yoga, Yogi Raj Vedatri Maharishi. And you can certainly uh, go through that and I will provide the link for the free uh, yogic exercises that are ta taught by our Swamiji in the description of the video below and you can feel free to link to click that and then practice those exercises and if you have any doubts on these exercises feel free to comment on the video and I will be happy to give you any explanation that I can find for your questions and you will also free to send me an email at guru at simplifiedkundaliniyoga.com I personally check all my emails and, and I will be happy to respond to your questions. So exercises are important. The third thing is use of thought force. When we say thought force, our mind comes to us immediately. Our mind is a stage. The thoughts are its actors. The mind 
is the audience and the spectator for itself. Isn't that beautiful? So we must think in a way that our thoughts, when it becomes actions such as deeds and words, do not hurt us or others now or in the future, physically or mentally. This is morality. In order to practice such moral thinking, we must learn how to streamline our thought force. To do that, two things are important. One, meditation, which will help you to go to the subtle levels of frequency. Two, introspection, which helps you to analyze your thoughts and superimpose good thoughts, harmless thoughts, pain-free thoughts over hurtful, negative, painful thoughts. And the power of superimposition comes to you through the power of Kundalini meditation. So visit SimplifiedKundaliniYoga.com and learn to meditate and learn to introspect. The introspection exercises are going to be available online very soon in SimplifiedKundaliniYoga.com. So feel free to sign up and then you know go through those exercises yourself. And it will help you to moralize your thoughts, neutralize anger, eradicate worries, and also moralize your desires, and also realize who you are. The fourth dimension is sleep. We need about seven to eight hours of sleep during the night every day. And there is a way of going to bed and there's a way of sleeping and falling into deep, what I call a deep sleep state the so-called the theta stage, the sleep without dream state. I will provide the link for my video or audio, which will give you the deep sleep relaxation very quickly. And I have made, I think uh, audio is available if I'm not wrong. If uh, possible, I will also make another video on this uh, very soon and make that video also available for you so that you can practice that on a regular basis. That will help you to fall uh, into deep sleep very quickly. The third one, the last one rather, the fifth one is sex. Sex in moderation after the age of 21 is necessary for us for procreation. The sexual vital fluid is the carrier of our life force particles which produces the biomagnetic energy gives us good amount of energy in our body. So if we preserve the quality and quantity of the sexual vital fluid, we can then preserve the quantity and quality of our life force, which will preserve the biomagnetic energy and gives us great amount of health in the body and a great amount of health in the mind. To do that, you need to learn to transmute the sexual vital fluid from the sexual gland into the cerebrospinal area and that process is the Siddha secret yoga called Kaya Kalpa Yoga. Visit kayakalpayoga.com. We have a complete online course on the theory which is free and there is a paid practice course that is available in kayakalpayoga.com. Remember that all the fees that you pay directly goes for the World Community Service Center as donations and we use the money for further research and doing further surveys of the Simplified Kundalini Yoga and Kaya Kalpa Yoga system given to us by our Guru Sri Vedatri Maharishi. You can learn both Kundalini Yoga and Kaya Kalpa Yoga through any of your Sky Centers around the world. We have 2500 centers around the world, we have 14,500 masters who can teach this system to you through any of these 2500 centers. So feel free to visit simplifiedkundaliniyoga.com, click on the centers link and contact any of our Sky Yoga Center and learn this meditation. When you moderate, when you follow moderation and discipline in each of those five activities that we talked about, which are food, use of thought force, rest, work and sex, you will certainly have a great amount of energy in your life and you will succeed in attracting good health, long life, enough wealth, peace, prosperity, fame and wisdom. Be blessed by the divine.